so let's get started so first let's try to understand what do we mean by the word divisible right so is a number x divisible by number y so like is 34 divisible by 3 so do, what do we mean by that so when i divide 34 with 3 if the remainder is 0 that's when we call a number is divisible by a number y like 34 is divisible by 3 is 34 divisible by 3 no because we get a remainder of 1 3 11 is 33 so that's why it is not divisible so 33 is divisible by 3 right so that's how we actually understand when someone says is a number x divisible by number y so let's get you know to understand the basic divisibility rules of some numbers which are you know very commonly used or asked across different exams so first let's focus on the divisibility rules of 2 4 8 16 etc there's a pattern in this so first 2 is 2 power 1 4 is 2 power 2 8 is 2 power 3 16 is 2 power 4 Right, 32 is 2 power 5 and so on. So, what is the divisibility rule of 2? If the last digit, right, of the number is divisible by 2, then the whole number is. Right, so for example, let's take a number like 1, 4, 3, 286 this is the whole number but i'll just focus on the last digit for 2 divisible rule of 2 6 is divisible by 2 so the whole number 143286 is divisible by 2 right similarly 4 is 2 square the rule is just check for the last two digits right if divisible by 4 then the whole number is so what are the last two digits 86 in the example so 86 is 86 divisible by 4 no right the closest multiple is 84 so the remainder is 2 so that's not divisible that means the whole number is not divisible by 4 8 is 2 cube right so i see the power 3 so that's why i'll focus on the last three digits of the number The last three digits number are 286. So is it divisible by 8? So if we check it, we will get a remainder of 6. Right. So that's because 835 is 280. So the closest is that and the remainder is 6. So the whole number is also not divisible by 8 because 286 divided by 8 is not giving a remainder of 0. Similarly, if you look at 16, 2 power 4, so I'll focus on the last 4 digits and check if it is divisible by 16 or not. Same for this, last 5 digits and check if it is divisible by 32 or not. So these are the rules you see, right? There's a pattern in this because it's 2 power 1, 2 power 2, 2 power 3, 2 power 4 and 2 power 5 and anything larger than that. But these are the three standard ones which you see in quite a few questions. But understand this logic, it will help you in solving more problems. Right? The next set of rules is on numbers like 3, 9, 27. Again, you see a pattern here. Right? 3 is 3 power 1. 9 is 3 power 2. 27 is 3 power 3. 81, for example, is 3 power 4. Again, the powers of 3, right? So, what is the divisibility rule of 3? Sum of digits of the number. If divisible by 3, whole number, then whole number is. For example, again, let's take an example of 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 as a number. What is the sum of digits of this 6 digit number? It's 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus 4 plus 5 plus 6, right? 3 plus 3, 6 plus 4, 10, 15, 6, 21. 21 is divisible by 3, yes. The remainder is 0. Hence, the whole number 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 is also divisible by 3. Similarly, 
the rule for three square is sum of digits of number if divisible by nine because i'm talking about the nine so again it's divisible by nine then the whole number is so i know sum of digits is 21 or is 21 divisible by 9? No. The remainder is 3. 9, 2 is 18 is the closest one. That's why the whole number is not divisible by 9. Right. Then, a couple of other rules for these numbers. Uh, 5 and 11 are a bit standard as well. For 5, just look at the last digit. If last digit if divisible by 5, then the whole number is. That is, if a number is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, the last digit is this. Yes, it is divisible by 5. The number is 1, 2, 3, 4, 6, 7. The last digit is 7. Is it divisible by 5? No, because the 7 is not divisible by 5. That's why it is not. Other way to see simply is the last digit should be either 5 or 0. That is, these are the only two digits which are divisible by 5 uh, in a number for the unit digit. So you can also look if it's 5 or 0. If it's not, then the whole number is not divisible by 5. 11 is slightly complex. What we do is, uh, I'd rather show with an example to make you understand this. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Let's take this. It's a 6 digit number, right? So I'll start from the last digit. Right? I'll skip the next one. I'll go to this. I'll skip this one and go to this. To skip and go, there's nothing. So I'll add this, right? 2 plus 4 plus 6 is basically 12. Now I'll add the remaining alternate numbers. That's basically 1 plus 3 plus 5. Right? Now I'll subtract this. Right? 12 minus 9 is 3. If this difference is divisible by 11, then the whole number is. That means the difference should potentially be looking like 0. 11, 22, 33, etc. Right? But here I got 3, which is not divisible by 11, obviously. So the whole number is not divisible by 11. Right? Let's take another simple example like 33, 44. Right? This is definitely divisible by 11. So again, I start from the right. 4 plus 3 is 7. This is 4 plus 3 is 7. I subtract them. So I'll get a 0. So it is divisible by 11. Uh, just a revision on all of this I would strongly suggest you to take a pass and try these problems before you look at the solution so I'm asking you if this number is divisible by 2, 3, 4 individually right so for 2 what is, a, what is the thing I need to focus on the last digit 4 is divisible by 2 hence it is divisible by, the whole number is divisible by 2 3 sum of digits It's 3 plus 4, 7 plus 5, 12 plus 7, 20, sorry, 19 plus 8, 27 plus 6, 33 plus 4, 37. Sorry, just a moment. 37 is the sum of digits, right? Is it divisible by 3? No. The remainder is not 0, it's 1, so it is not. For that, uh, 4, I have to check for last two digits, 64. Is 64 divisible by 4? Yes, 4. 16 is 64. So the whole number is divisible by 4. Divisibility rule of 5, look at the last digit, that is 4. Is it divisible by 5? No. Hence, it is not divisible by 5. For 8, look at the last three digits, that's fundamentally 864. So that the remainder is 0 because 8 into 108 times is 864. Right? So it is divisible by 8. Divisible by 9. Sum of digits is 37 is not divisible by 9. The remainder is again 1. So it is not divisible by 9. For 11. Right? As we know the rule is. I will just write down the number here. I start from here. So that's 3 plus 5, 8 plus 8, 16 plus 4, 20, 6 plus 7, 13, 13 plus 4, 17. The difference is this, that's 3, is it divisible by 11? No, since the whole number is also not divisible by 11.